I recently watched a video by First Man saying double down on it. The woke era is ending. It's not. It's not. Okay, guys, there'll be something else that will take over the woke era. And people will be as entertained as distract as it was before. But also working. Many people will see the Andrew Tate shit. And then there will be a large influx of individuals in the self-improvement space that, you know, will grind to become stronger, to become more attractive, to become more affluent, wealthy, whatever it is. But the majority of the individuals will be swept back into the curve, the matrix, the system, as the individuals like to say. Like even me, myself, I want to show this right now. Like, back there, uh, my PS4 setup. I, I've been playing games again. And I'm actually enjoying it, which is the worst part. Back, I, I, I was with more with three strikes, back to back, 3,000 damage. Like, three, 3k, 3k, 3k. I'm, I'm literally farming 3k. I don't know why. It's me. I, I keep in 3k's. Uh, Apex Legends is five years old. I've been playing the same game for for like fucking five years on and off what the fuck am i doing <laughs> like <laughs> i'm falling back into the trap i'm not making content like i was just in the moment in the moment of silence like this where i can truly think and i can truly like conceptualize my problems i'm like holy shit i'm fucking i'm falling, falling behind like that one guy working in the gym harder than me he's surpassing me that one guy you know doing the extra rep doing the extra set a bit further beyond which I would do because I'm injured, I'm tired, or I'm sluggish, or whatever it is. Yo, he's a party. You know, Hamza, he stopped boxing because he's like, Oh, it's too competitive. I stopped boxing because I didn't see a future in it. I've glasses, bro. I'm fucking blind without these. I'm blind. I'm almost minus six, guys. It's fucking, it's a haze, it's a blur. I'll try to show you what it looks like, like that. When I'm sparring, I can't see the nuance, I can't see the shoulder movement, I can't see the feint, I can't see anything. I just, I have that contact lenses in, and I get, they get punched out. And if I should have, I'm almost 19 soon, within like a few months, so I should probably take, try to take a fight at that time. I don't see a chance of me becoming a big name in boxing. I have like no, I I'll just, I'll just spar and yeah whatever, but I have no choice but to like concede. And I, I I want to try to take as far as I possibly can and work as hard as I possibly can, but will my efforts be wasted? That I spend time like fucking playing video games again. I just it just compelled me to make this video because I just thought to myself, deep in my heart, like I should be fucking in the gym training right now. Normal gym, boxing gym. I'd be training my heart out. I'd be come home like instead of fucking using this laptop to play Roblox or whatever fucking dumbass video game that there is. It should be pure work, 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 work. Alkaline. You know what I'm saying, guys? Like I mean, I'm listening to this song. So kind of fucking cringe, but it's true. It's the truth. I just didn't stop. Damn, my hairline's fucking coming back. What the fuck? My hair looks so thick. I think cold showers. Really cold. They help with hair growth. And before anyone says, oh, it doesn't help. Well, look, look at this shit, man. I was thinning before. Very thick. And my hairline's like, it's coming back as well. It used to be like up here. Now it's coming back. I don't know. I don't know why. I think cold showers contribute a lot to it. But like. You want to become successful in one day, of course it'll be difficult. It's still difficult. It, it, the ease, everyone wants to become successful. So the ease of difficulty has never stopped. But if you would like to become ultra successful, it is insurmountably easier than any other year. And it, it'll be, like, like I said before, like a panic in the moment and said, oh yeah, five to ten years. You, you work five to ten years. It's the truth. You do have to work within five to ten years. It'll become even more difficult than it is now when that time threshold, half a decade, a decade. We've got like a 20 year gap, 20 year threshold guys, until Gen A becomes middle aged adult and <laughs> Gen A is like 8, so they'll, be, they'll be reaching late 20s 
early 30s. Similar with like the youngest Gen Z like myself. Like guys, bro, look, look at the generation, it's fucked. Skibbity toilet. Gaming. Corn. Twitter. Hyper violent videos desensitizing them. Remember, I, 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 part, I was part of the generation as well. I watched Logan Paul um, film a dead body in the forest. <laughs> it's a bit embarrassing to say this truth. I, I watched him film a dead body in the forest in this Japanese vlog when it first came out. It got like 7 million views, 7.7 7 million views in like 24 hours. It's something insane. Roy took it down. They got 10 million views before it got taken down. I'm not sure. He can verify that himself. I don't think he wants to because <laughs> he doesn't want to talk about it anymore. I was like, that vlog was fucking lit. Wow, they showed me a dead body. Cool. Where's the next vlog? Because, like, I was so desensitized to the shit on the internet. I just, like... I just didn't, like... I didn't give a fuck. If, if Logan Paul was a real gangster, he would have just kept vlogging. He would have taken that break. He would have probably got, like, 100 million views every single video. <laughs> Take another video now. But he probably would have spiraled out, um, out of control. Um, I don't want to sharp. And I don't want to speak. I, I do want to have the YouTube channel and speak of my problems, but I don't want to speak about fucking no fat forever like Ham's doing. Like this is just stupid, guys. Like you see a cute girl, take the opportunity. You know what I'm saying? You never know what's gonna happen. You know, opportunity is always limited. You guys have to realize this. It isn't like say, oh, it's black people ideology. Well, no, not necessarily. Is that think about it in real life? The average person, average person, has probably given up an opportunity to be with like close to a millionaire. Weird example. And everyone says, "Oh, that's unrealistic, unrealistic." If you're in London or like a first world country, you're probably closer to a, a very affluent person than you think. Probably like one or two people away, just one or two people connecting away from like an incredibly affluent individual. But the average person misses that opportunity and just carries on with his mediocre life. Most people, average people, most people skip past the David Goggins <laughs> edit. Most people skip past, you know, the certain Brumman YouTube videos that they know they should watch and they put in the watch later. They procrastinate. It's actually quite rare for an individual. It's not special, but it is rare for an individual to like snap out of that procrastination period and actually do something with his life. Become a millionaire, and I don't think it's special because like you reach a certain echelon in life where it's like holy shit, yeah. People realize money had value. People get a lot of money. People, a lot of people are millionaires. Duh. People talk about like the one percent, less than one percent of the world population are millionaires. I disagree. I think it's more. It's much, much more. It's top ten percent, top twenty percent of men, at least making hundred grand plus per year. Top ten percent, at least are making hundred grand plus per year. Top five percent are millionaires. Top one percent are billionaires. And this is hundreds of millions of people. Like even I know millionaires. They're not special. They just work harder on one particular niche. Longer than anyone else did. But like, there's still faults in them. Like, I'm not going to call it one I know. But he's like, he, he's, he's made like 200 grand a day. It's like fucking crazy. I haven't seen those numbers before in my life. I'd be fucking pissing my pants if I saw those numbers. Makes like a million dollars a month. Give or take. His entrepreneurship is bad months, good months, but. <laughs> He's a fat geek. It's very rare you see like the complete male, the complete individual. Even with Q girls, it's very rare you see a complete package individual. There's always something. Oh, but he's this. Oh, but he's that. He's rich, but he's fat. He's rich, but he's sad and alone. It's very rare. You can have it all, of course. But it's very rare that you encounter an individual that will actually have it all. This is where you can step in. And step. And work that extra little bit harder. And step a few meters away from the, the pack of average people. The pack of outliers. Even then, by becoming that complete individual. It's very weird to me. How, like... I know I have work I need to do, but I end up procrastinating and fucking watching TikTok and Twitter and skibbity toilet videos. 
Like, bro, you're going to surpass me, bro. Even me, on my journey, the looks maxing, whatever it is, you, you can surpass me. You just can be more refined into your, more efficient into your work. Cut away distraction. Go to PS4, you go to Xbox, sell it. You get a computer with dumbass video games, delete them. Everyone says, oh, but if delete them, doesn't work, but actually you go back to them, delete them and focus on the fucking work, dumbass. Like, you, there's only there's only one very, very particular answer to more of the majority of your problems. That is, you know what you need to do, just fucking do it. Success, I, I saw like a, a summary of what people thought Alex Homozi was. Let me try to find the screenshot for you right here. I'll try to add it into the video so you guys can see, because this is not OBS, I can't just drag it on the screen. I unfortunately have to edit the video. Mm, tough life, right? Someone said, I've watched hours of this guy's teaching. I think his main theme is business is just a long, boring list of obvious things. Success is doing them. I wholeheartedly agree. Like everyone knows that they have that one thing that they need to sell on eBay or fucking Etsy or Facebook. Everyone knows that they have the one thing that they need to, you know, <laughs> the one thing they need to do, the, the video they need to edit, the project they must complete. Everyone knows. But no one actually says how to fucking do it. They just procrastinate, procrastinate, procrastinate. It's everyone. It really is everyone. You just... And like, don't make your task list like 20, 20 trillion things. Bro, I don't think you're like hype watching my video or something. Motivation comes and goes, right? You just crack on with what you need to do. If you reach a point where like you, you genuinely forget, this, this is task list, people forget what task lists are for. It's a gentle reminder of this thing that you need to do. If you know what you need to do, just fucking do it. If you forget, then you've got the task list to refer to. Where the fuck am I going with this shit? I saw, the, I saw this one Fertline skin in the new season, season 20 of Apex Legends. And I was like, fuck, that's sexy. I gotta fucking, I gotta grind for it. And I'm just, and I just, I just sat, uh, I had a mirror pointing at me while I was gaming. I don't even have a chair. I game on my mattress, on a coffee table. And I'm putting it up on Facebook, by the way. No, this is like a, not a shameless ad. I don't expect anyone to buy from this uh, video. But I'll put up the Facebook link in the description. I'll show you guys that I'm actually trying to sell it. If it, if it sells before, if it sells before I, I the event comes out and it's, it's literally the event comes out tomorrow. If it sells before the event and I don't get the skin, then I'll, I'll take the money off of the thing. Because the money has more value, right? Am I not just hypocritical? Just playing video games. Not good enough to go pro like I said before in my other video, but I just keep finding myself back at them. It's just fucking dumb. It's progressing. And although I'm making leaps and bounds by my physique and like I'm not really progressing until it comes to boxing, I'm just kind of plateauing. But I'm regressing, like I don't have that technique that I used to have before. Um I guess, yeah, I'm not sure what it is. <sighs> really fucking annoyed, I can't lie. Can you guys hear that? The humidifier. I can't even fucking see it, bro. It's dumb. I'm gonna end this video here. It's just, it's just dumb. Obviously, work hard. Obviously. Do what you need to do. Do what you know you need to do. Work as hard as possible. 
And if it doesn't work out, then fuck it, that's an experience in itself. I remember I got a chef job as assistant chef. It was instantly promoted. Washing the dishes, or trying to teach me to cook. I just thought to myself, I fucking hate this job. I would never want to be a chef. I'm extremely grateful that I'm not there anymore. I got fired, actually. I'm so grateful for it. Because I wouldn't be doing the fucking e-commerce, online income, right? Failure is not the end. Work as fucking as hard as possible. What does Dana White say? If you're a savage, if you're a savage, you'll kill everyone. Yeah, it's the truth. <laughs> so dumb to say. I, I, sit, I sit here in a position of like immense change. I've changed so much since the start of this channel, since the start of my self improvement journey. Money wise, I'm better. Physique wise, I'm better. Happiness wise, I'm better. Every way I'm, I could be better, I'm better. But the solution was simple, the execution was difficult. You just gotta work hard. I remember, this is a fucking friend of mine, I think I'll talk about another video as well, Stephen Gerald, I don't know what name I gave him, Stephen Gerald, I just kick each other between them, that's the, that's the, the basic names that I have. Was he was a communist guy and he was like, Oh be able your solution is just work harder. <laughs> yeah. The solution is work harder. You think you're gonna surpass everyone and not work hard? It's it's asinine. It's absolutely delusional belief. It was pure entitlement from him. If he thought communism was going to be this beautiful ideological utopia where everyone's holding hands and things are actually finally getting done but humans are inherently selfish creatures and capitalism feeds on that selfishness that selfish nature and those who truly decide those who truly decide to you know hammer home and work as hard as possible they possibly can they make it in the capitalistic system those that don't work hard, they don't make it. It's a cutthroat system, it's been like that since day one. It's easy, it's easier than ever within the modern day. Take your fucking chance, buckle up your pants, and actually get a fucking meaning, bro. There was only one, there's only one thing you can do. Work fucking harder. Don't let this fast my shit, I keep saying that. What, what was the ending? People are too lazy to cancel. People are too lazy to cancel. Truth, truth be told. Exploiting my skin was a fucking good idea. Having a good, good skin routine is crazy. <laughs> guys, people are too lazy to cancel. People, the people don't give a fuck anymore. Okay, guys? These poor kids are still around. You still see them everywhere. Nothing's changing. You see them in schools. I, I don't know why a single person like a school environment I, I was like the jock or whatever it's like successful after they just plateau and be peaked in school the reality catch you guys in the next video peace be safe live mediocre diamond mediocre live mediocre diamond mediocre